Okay, done with work. Let's format this SD card. Hey, Warren, don't format that card, but my girlfriend photo is inside. <gasps> what? What? But your girlfriend photo is... Oh my god, oh my god. I format already, I'm already. How are... Oh my god. Sometimes accidents happen when you're in front of your computer. I'm not just talking about the usual coffee spilling on your keyboard type of accidents, but rather accidentally pressing the shift plus delete key on things when you're not supposed to. And even more so when you can't boot into your computer because of a corrupted disk. We've all been there and tried many data recovery softwares, but only to find disappointment at times. But today, I may have the solution for you, and it is called Wondershare Recovery, a file recovery software that has recently saved me from accidentally deleting raw video footage from a reformatted SD card. And there's actually more to it than just being able to recover accidentally deleted files. So sit back and chill out, because I'm sure many of you watching this video may have just did something similar. And I'll show you every feature that you need to know about this software, and I've also done some chapters in the description so you can skip to the feature Feature that you want to know most. So let's begin. All right, so this is how the Wondershare recovery software looks like, and it has a really simple and straightforward user interface. This software supports both Mac OS and Windows systems, so whichever type of computer that you are using, this software is available for you to download. Now, you get three options for the file recovery section. You can recover files from your hard drive or any locations that's on your computer. You can recover files from a crashed computer. Let's say if you're not able to boot into your system, you can actually do a bootable USB drive where you will be able to recover your files using that simple bootable environment. You also have a NAS and Linux uh, selection, which is very interesting because it basically uses the SSH service to get into your NAS or a Linux system to do file recovery, which is very interesting that we are going to find out how it works in a bit, okay? So uh, let's get back to hard drives and locations here. So as you can see, I have two partitions on my computer in C drive and E drive. So if you just happen to click on one of the drives, say for example, E drive, uh, it will start the scan like instantly and find out what are the recently deleted the file so that you can just restore it back to your computer. As you can see, the scan happens really, really fast here. And you can just simply go into one of the folders, for example, this B drive sync folder that I created on my E drive and I recently deleted it all these files and I can simply just restore them by just clicking on it. For instance, this uh, PDF invoice and tap on recover and I'll just simply have to choose a location. Say for example, I'm gonna, just gonna place it on my desktop, all right? And let's go find desktop. Let's say, let's go to down, the downloads folder instead and press on recover and it is successfully recovered in my downloads folder. As you can see, it shows right up uh, on my screen here, E drive, uh, B drive sync. And there we go. This is my recovered PDF file and it totally works, okay? So let's just go back to my home screen here because we are going to stop uh, this scan. It is still deep scanning as you can see. Let's head back to home and try out some other features here. Now you do get quick access to other locations on your computer right at the bottom here. And what's really interesting is that this software actually allows you to recover files using a disk image. So if you press on this disk image selection, it will ask you to import a disk image file. Now there's no specific disk image file that uh, Wondershare Recovery is asking for. Basically, uh, you can open up any kind of disk image files that you have backed up on your computer and it will basically scan through the entire image and ask you which file do you want to have it restored. Now you can also have quick access to your desktop which I think is a really good thing that Wondershare have this selection here because not every user is familiar with their computer's directories, uh, not unless if you are a, a more advanced user where you know where you just accidentally deleted your files and where you want to find it, you can simply just choose the select folder selection here and choose the location that you want the software to scan for your accidentally deleted files. And finally, there's even the recycle bin section here, which is, I think is something that's really useful because sometimes you just realize that, oh, damn, I just accidentally like emptied my recycle bin without checking whether I've like the, uh, I need to restore some files inside here that I accidentally deleted it. You can just use the recycle bin feature to just recover the files that you have accidentally deleted, all right? Next, let's head on over to the NAS and Linux section. I'm just gonna show you the crash computer 
uh, bootable OS in a bit. Now, this is basically how uh, it scans. So I'm just going to type um, our NAS server. It's called KLG Store 2. So as long as you have a Synology, QNAP, or whatever NAS systems that supports SSH service, you should be able to use this file recovery feature, all right? So the port is 22 as standard for SSH. Um, I'm just going to enter my username and password and I'm just going to tap on connect here, okay? So it's just trying to connect to my NAS server, which is on my back there, and it's going to start scanning whatever files that it has. There you go, it is already starting to scan. Now, one thing that I feel that Wondershare could have improved here is that not all NAS servers, um, like, you know, you, you, you don't get to choose the drives because um, it's not every time you only have like one hard drive in a NAS server, you could have like five or six um, drives in your NAS that you, you can, you want to access. And it basically scans all my drives that is, um, you know, that is available on my NAS here. So as you can see, it's scanning over 26 terabytes of data. So sometimes it, I, I think it's good that if Wondershare improves this feature the next time, whereby it kind of lets you choose the type of files and probably even like the date that uh, you think that you have accidentally deleted your file rather than like scanning the whole NAS and spending all that time waiting for the scan to finish. But nonetheless, it is pretty useful. Um, and I understand that there's a limitation with the SSH service here because you can't really like say, oh, I want to scan uh, drive one, drive two, or even drive four, drive five, or even uh, a rate that we've set up on the NAS here. It simply just can't detect that. But nonetheless, I think it is really impressive that Wondershare has actually done a NAS and Linux recovery feature on this recovery software here. So uh, as you can see, it is, uh, separated into different file types. So let's say if I go into JPEG, this is what I'm going to get. Oh, interesting. This is like my very old YouTube thumbnails here. So it managed to find all these files here. So let's just try to recover one of them, shall we? Let's say um, this picture. I'm just going to try to recover this. And let's go to the downloads folder as usual and tap on recover. Um, let's change path. We're just going to go to E drive and press on recover. Okay, so it's done. We shall check out whether if the image is in good condition, right? Even though it's called lost file name. And look at that. This is actually one of the camera samples that I took on my phone, which I can't even remember uh, when I actually took this, but nonetheless, it is just so impressive. Uh, I mean, with just an SSH connection and with my username and all, this software is able to find the files that I deleted on my NAS. Next, let's check out the enhanced recovery feature on the video photo restore section. Now, this is the feature that I would love to show you the most because it is essentially the feature that saved my life last week when I used it to recover my accidentally formatted SD card. So I already have an SD card right here with me. As you can see, it is an F drive and let's just click and see what happens. Now, what's interesting here, because this is a very uh, video photo uh, focused restoration feature. So it will ask you to choose the file format that you think it is missing here. So let's say if I choose MP4, because this is the video format that I usually shoot in. And let's, let's just press on start right now. So the thing is that I usually shoot with multiple cameras on a single SD card. I have a couple of cameras with me. I have a Lumix GH6, I have a Sony, a7C, so I shoot on multiple cameras. And what's interesting here is that, let's say if we go into this photos folder, it will actually break it into different cameras. You can see you got Panasonic, which is my Lumix GH6. And if I go into JPEG, it will show all the pictures that I have like deleted or even previously formatted on a, another camera. And this is how it looks like. I can just simply click on it and to check out what the photo really is. And it's probably going to get a bit slow because it is still scanning right now. But uh, let's just check out other things. Like you see, Fujifilm is now out because I previously used the Fujifilm XS20 for review. And this is how it looks like. All right, some of the images are actually appearing already. And if we just uh, double click on it, we can just preview what the photo really is. Now, I think this is a really good feature because most other data recovery softwares that I use they usually don't let you preview what the photo is. So you're just going to be blindly recovering files when sometimes you can't find it. I mean, it's not a 100% thing that you can restore your files all the time because sometimes when 
the file structure, the storage structure gets overridden, there's simply just no chance to recover some photos or videos that you have taken uh, on that particular SD card. So, so just simply take it like a 50-50% chance of recovering your files all the time. Do not assume all software will work 100%, but you know, the thing is that it is able to recover all these photos that you have previously taken. This is simply just amazing and it's something that I think a lot of recovery softwares are not able to do. And best of all, you can preview these images right here, which I think is really, really crazy. And it's something that I've never seen before on other data recovery softwares. Now let's try to restore one of the photos here and see whether if it works, okay? So I'm just gonna restore a photo of my daughter here. So let's just um, uh, select this one by checking this and we're just gonna tap on recover, choose a location. Let's go back to E drive as usual and tap on recover. So it's done already. Let's check if the image is complete. And looks like we have perfectly restored the photo. Look at this, this is Haiti. It's not a great picture because it's blurred. That's why I deleted it. And if we check the file info, all the details should be there. Look at it. The exif information still retains. And I'm really, really happy to see this kind of restoration result. Finally, let's move on to the corrupted video repair feature. Now, I think this is a very rare feature that I don't think that many people will use, but just in case, if you want to recover a corrupted video, say for example, like if the corrupted video is still in a full file size, but you can play it on some video players, or it's just simply missing some uh, video properties that doesn't allow you to play on a device, this is the feature that will get the corrupted video repaired. Now, let's try to add a video here. So, uh, Wondershare is kind enough to provide me a corrupted video sample for me to test out this feature. Uh, to be honest, I'm not really sure how well it's going to apply to me, but for those of you who have encountered like a corrupted video that you can't play properly, like say for instance, this H264 GoPro video that we are going to use right now, this is basically a corrupted video that needs to be repaired. And it is basically like in its full file size at 148 megabytes, but then um, it is corrupted, it can't be played, and that's because it, you, it probably got damaged during a file transfer or whatsoever. So when we try to repair this feature, this is how it's going to look like. So apparently it failed to repair. So it bas you basically just need to get like another full video from the same camera source. And if we tap on advanced repair, um, I'm just going to choose a sample video which Wondershare also provided to me for testing. So it is going to be uh, the same H.264 GoPro video right here. And let's press on next. So you can see that the corrupted video doesn't have all these properties. See, look at this, like the uh, camera type is missing. Um, the, the camera name is also missing as well. Frame rates and everything is missing, which is the reason why it can't be played. But the sample video that we provided has the same file size, but it has all these video properties which is the reason why it is able to repair the video, okay? So let's just tap on repair right now. And it's just gonna repair. It will take a couple of seconds, but it's gonna work, okay? So once it's done, um, it is going to ask you to play and check to see whether if the video is okay. And if it is okay, you're just gonna recover that video. Okay, so we have successfully repaired the video and let's tap on OK. So it's gonna come out a, a preview button here, which I'm gonna press on preview and it's gonna play the video to show me that it is finally a working video again, okay? So there you go. It's a very nice looking duck at a lake swimming video shot on a, on a GoPro Hero 6. So yeah, this is how you use the corrupted video repair feature. Now, there are times where you can't boot into your computer due to a corrupted storage drive or operating system. And when that happens, you'll need to reformat your drive to gain access to your computer again. But don't let that happen because Wondershare Recovery Software allows you to create a bootable drive for to get into your computer to perform data recovery from your corrupted storage drive. So this is how it looks like. It's pretty simple. You get a hard disk a corrupted feature and data recovery feature. I know the text is not complete because this is a 4K display. So there's a bit of scaling issue here, but let's just get into it, shall we? So if we head on to your hard disk, 
corrupted here. So it will ask you which of the partitions that you want to restore data from. So usually when your storage drive is corrupted, the partition still remains until you get into Windows setup and do all that reformatting, all right? So just let's just click on uh, C drive, for example, and we are just going to like, copy into any like of the drives that we want so this is basically like a drive copy feature so make sure you have an additional storage drive connected onto your computer to have um, data being able to restore back into here okay so we are not going to do that right now but let's just head over to data recovery here so uh, as usual it will ask for the drive that you want to recover feature from. And just in case, if your partition really goes missing, um, you can still have this icon find my partition section here. So simply just choose a disk drive. So it goes by the disk drive here. Um, let's say that this is my only disk of one terabyte SSD, and we are just going to tap on start. So this is where it's going to scan my partition. And it is going to check again uh what are the type of partitions that i have and we're just going to tap on start right now and it's going to start the same data recovery features that uh you see on the desktop just now so i have i do not have any corrupted drives on my laptop right now so we're just going to quit this but you totally get the point right so in case if you want to recover data or anything from a corrupted drive or operating system this software basically does it and you can create a bootable drive just before that to get into your computer without reformatting it all. All right, so that's a quick overview on Wondershare Recovery. And personally, I think it is a very powerful and simple to use data recovery tool. And I recommend anyone to go check it out. If you accidentally delete your files, it is definitely worth a try getting this software license at just 89.99 US dollars per year, because I think it's totally worth it than getting your storage drive over to your data recovery center, wait for them to like uh, recover your files and all that. I think it's totally worth a try uh, to use this software to try and recover your files. But like any other data recovery software that I've known out there, this software, of course, is not 100% perfect. And I think um, Wondershare would also acknowledge that because if you have overwritten that data structure of your storage drive, there are chances that you might not be able to recover your files. But if you have just recently deleted and you haven't like uh, written any data over that particular storage drive, there's a chance that you might be able to recover your files properly using Wondershare Recovery. And I definitely recommend that you give it a try. All right, so that's pretty much for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. Wondershare is a pretty good company. They make a lot of uh, other apps as well. So I recommend that you go check them out as well for other softwares, all right? So thanks for watching. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and I'll see you guys in the next one.